he's the kind of person you want to be learning from if what you want to learn is how to be a man. He's your child, but he is a grown man. Tony is who Tony is. Tony is not who Tony is. It's sick. This society is sick. Savage Grace, the movie, really starts with the book, Savage Grace, which was a, a nonfiction book that was published in the 1980s. Um, Christine Vachon, who's one of my producers, and I bonded early in our career by our love of true crime fiction. So we would share with each other kind of shocking books, usually that had pictures in the middle. Um, and Savage Grace was one of the books that she gave to me to read. It's, you know, shocking tabloid kind of material, but it has a much deeper undercurrent to it. It really is a story that um, captures the kind of, you know, it's like Greek tragedy. It captures a kind of really depth of uh, emotion that goes on in this family. Um, and it was an opportunity, I think, to work with amazing actors. The three key roles and then the whole supporting cast are just such kind of um, well-defined and incredible, remarkable characters. So I was really drawn to that aspect. Welcome to the Canadian premiere of Savage Grace and to another sold-out screening. It's a very complex, it's a very hard-punching story and uh, it's, it's good to show films that really shake people in their seats. So it was, you know, on many levels a very important film for us to show. It's really funny because Tom Kalin was uh, relaying to me, you know, what happened when he showed the film Swoon to uh, queer audiences, um, uh, which is a very difficult story about the, the famous Leopold and Loeb case uh, in Chicago, uh, where these two lovers end up kidnapping, um, kidnapping a kid, essentially, and then killing him. Um, and audiences at that time were dying to see positive portrayals of uh, gay characters on, on screen. And of course, you know, it divided queer audiences at the time. And now he comes back with another feature that divides the audience in, um, you know, in another way, uh, but this time dealing with the subject of incest. But with the film being based on a true story, we can't really um, fault Tom Kalin for uh, ruffling feathers yet again. I think he's just attracted to very complex psychological situations. We still have the collar and we have moved and moved and moved and we have never lost it. I think it's funny because people have compared Savage Grace a lot to Swoon and obviously I'm the director of both the films and they share a lot in common. They're both symbiotic stories about, you know, stories about the kind of merging of identities and also, you know, sexual obsession, crime, and, they're, and the fact that they're based on true stories. I think I'm really drawn to, you know, very tough dramatic material because I think it shows us something about human nature. And I think that tragedy is a kind of, you know, um, fundamental human story. And I think that uh, difficult emotions are worth exploring if they're done with a kind of, if you give the characters a kind of dignity and respect because you find out something about the limits of love and the boundaries of relationships and families. Was Proust truly a homosexual? Qu'est-ce que tu penses? He was cold and dark, and she was warm and light. And I was little Tony. I think that one of the great things about making this film also is that you realize that it really sticks with people. People, even who have seen the film and their initial reaction has been very negative, have written later and said, you know, your movie just did not leave my mind for a week or two weeks. I've been thinking about it. And as a filmmaker, that's an incredible reward. I take responsibility for the um, shock that people have at the film because, honestly, I'm shocked by the material. I was shocked shooting those final scenes in London. They were really difficult. The actors uh, really had to, you know, believe and go as far as they needed to go in those scenes in order to, to make them work. So. Um, I think the, the collective of all of us really took quite seriously this material and believe that there's something worthwhile in, in, in looking at it closely. Get your thumb out of your mouth. You are not a baby. Go! Everything's gonna be alright. 